hello my beautiful babes and welcome back to crystal vlogs make sure you like comment and subscribe don't forget to turn on post notifications so you will be notified every time i upload another video guys gotta excuse my hair I combed it out so i am a little tired I don't know if it's the weather or what, but we are going to get into the daily word. Let's go. Father God, I come to you as humble as I am. I ask that you give me the encouragement and the wisdom to deliver the word and nothing but the word and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, so we are still in chapter nine. We are almost done with this book. Y'all got to excuse my little beauty marks. I've been messing with them so they look a little red. I don't pull that skin off of them. We are in chapter nine. We're almost done with this book. This book only had 11 chapters, and we went through it pretty quickly. I broke it down for you guys to understand. However, I read more than I put out as usual, but that's okay. You guys, you guys are picking up on the word, you're understanding, you're communicating with me, you're interacting, and that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to interact, be truthful, receive the word. However, I notice some people are not receiving the word, maybe because they don't understand, or maybe because they can't speak English. I don't know, but I also want to talk about some things about spamming in my comments i will do that in another video we are going to stay on task with the daily word for today but just to give you guys a heads up so you will know when that video drops so we are talking about beware of the devil's sneaky tactics and i have my notes over here you guys because i'm not feeling a little well this morning i have a doctor's appointment i have to go get my port flush so bear with me and like i said we're talking about beware of the devil sneaky tactics losing your balance and train of thought Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 through 27 talks about losing your balance and with anger and allowing the enemy to have the upper hand over us basically and i'm gonna give you some examples like i always do say someone asks you what we would call a stupid question when they know the answer say you outside and you on the beach and they see the clouds just like you do and they say what color the clouds is crystal and you look at them like What you mean? What color the clouds is? You you know what color the clouds is just like I do. That type of reaction, we don't want to give that losing our balance or our train of thought to the enemy. We want to be calm. We want to mind the tongue and the tone. I know it's hard, you guys. I know it is hard. Somebody who has struggled with anger all their life, me, me, me. I have been in anger management over numerous of times. So, with that being said, you want to mind your tongue, watch your tongue, and your tone. So, they'll be like, Crystal, what color is the clouds? And remind you, you're on the beach. Both of y'all see the clouds. Everybody outside, everybody see the clouds. Everybody know what color the clouds is. So, you don't want to react in a high-pitched tone. Or in a disrespectful way. You want to keep your tone low. And you want to keep it respectful. I'll be like, let's say his name John. I'll be like, John, what do you mean what color are the clouds? The clouds are clear. It's clear today and white and cloudy. What do you mean what color are the clouds? Like, I would throw a question back at that person like, you never seen clouds before? Like, if you're going to be sarcastic and ask me a stupid question, i turn it around and throw it back at you. You never seen clouds before? I'm pretty sure everybody's seen clouds before, except for the people that's blind. And maybe they seen them before they went blind. But we ain't going to get into that. We're going to move along. 
Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1. It says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. And that's what we are uh, talking about in this chapter. We are talking about our anger. We are talking about the enemy trying to get us out of character because we want to be respectful be manner have manners we want to be professional when we are on our jobs however when you at home you can talk however you want and then sometimes you still don't need to if you talk to another person you still need to be respectful and you still need to have manners so we need to watch our tone and don't lose our balance. Don't allow the enemy to use us and frustrate us. We need to work on that. I'm working on me. You guys work on you. That's why we have to create a positive uh, environment and stay around positive people. Even in your home when your kids tick you off like I was telling you guys yesterday, Every time I have a situation like that and something happens, best believe I come back with a plan, something that's going to work. Because mind you, I raised these children, so I know they ins, they outs. Whatever they do, I know them from front to back. So I know how to set up plans that will help them and guide them throughout their life as well as myself. However, we do get tired as parents sometimes, but we also need to take a break. That's why it's called me time, selfie time. That is time for you to take a break, relax, get your thoughts together, regroup, replan, get your chores together, how you want your house run, what you're going to do for the week, how you're going to have the kids in order so everything can run, uh, run smooth and we won't have all this frustration on us. So with that being said, I have a lot going on, you guys. I am in the process of moving out my mother's house. So... I have a lot of frustration on me when I feel that these children are not listening. Hey, we got to get it together. We got to pack. We got to throw stuff away. We got to do this, do this, all that. However, I'm not in a rush to do all these things, but that just adds. When you're moving, moving is not easy. When you got children, you have uh, other things, doctor's appointment, school, all these things, your work, whatever you got to do, it adds on it adds on another task in your life. And when somebody is in the group and don't want to participate and act right and do right like my son was doing the other day, then that will frustrate you because somebody is off task when you're trying to make the boat run smooth. Amen? So, um, this is going to conclude this topic for today. We will finish up in chapter 9 tomorrow. We have a little bit more to talk about. I want to scratch it out because today is Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow, Thursday. So that means we'll start in chapter 10 Friday. And we have one more chapter after that. So we are almost done with Keep It Shut. We are almost done. We Keep It Shut by Karen. You guys, if you want to go check this book out, you can find her online or on Amazon. If you have a bookstore, go on the bookstore. But sometimes if you look on Amazon, books are really cheap. However, I get all my books from Goodwill and other uh, thrift stores that I go into. I love books. So, with that being said, you guys... Make sure you have a lovely Wednesday. I have two other videos that I have to drop today. And doctor's appointments and other, 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 other. <laughs> Don't you hate when you get like that? And other stuff that I have to do. So you guys have a blessed day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye-bye.